Hi, this is Mandy with Scott Leroy Marketing. Today we are going to show you a few ways to export a copy of your contacts out of command. As you can see, we're already logged into our command. We're going to come over here to the left-hand menu and click the Contacts tab. I'll give that just a moment to load here. And as you see, the contacts will start loading. You hopefully have a few more showing than we do. And over here on the far right, you can see where you do have the option to add a contact at a time, one at a time. To just to the right of that, there'll be three dots and a square. This is where we're going to see our export options. Now, if you are a solo agent, you will see the three options that you see on my screen at this time. One option to export all owned contacts, export mailing labels in a CSV, which is just a fancy way of saying an Excel spreadsheet that's editable that you can make changes to. Comma separated values um, is what CSV stands for. And so you also have a third option to export mailing labels in PDF form. This is great for printing out mailing labels if you were going to do a direct mailing campaign or something of the nature. So these are the three options that you see here if you are a solo agent. Now, if you're on a team, I want to show you what it would look like. So we would click on the profile photo. You will see Scott does have a team set up right here. So we would click on the team and the contacts that are on the team profile would open here. And you can see that this name changed. It does say the team contacts. It no longer says Scott Leroy contacts. And you can see that the team name is also mentioned right here on the profile. If you just want to double, double check to make sure that you're looking at your personal profile contacts or looking at your team contacts. So from the team profile, you can click those three dots and you see three other options populate. They are currently grayed out and that's okay, but you wanted to, these are options for the Rainmaker specifically, if they have the ability to export all of the team contacts, some team members, depending on your permissions, you may not have the option to um, export all the team contacts, but you can export a copy of all owned contacts. These are contacts that you have been giving ownership over. It's a little bit different than just being the assignee on the contact, and your Rainmaker can actually change the ownership depending on your on um, your permission levels. You might actually be able to change the ownership as well. So. If you have any questions about the contacts that you are or are not seeing on your team contacts, definitely reach out to your Rainmaker about that. But you do have an option right here. If we click export all owned contacts, you'll get a green banner that says your export is being processed. And you would watch your little bell here for the red dot letting you know that it's done. You may have to refresh your screen. If we click now, it says that it returned zero results because as you can see, we don't have any contacts that Scott is the owner of on the team profile, which is right here on your screen. So it did return zero results. So we're gonna clear that out and let's go back to the personal profile. Click the personal profile. You'll see we have two contacts. Gonna choose the three dots export all owned contacts. And again, just to double check in case you're curious, make sure it says your personal name here and also shows the personal name there underneath the profile photo. So we're gonna choose three dots, export all owned contacts, gives us the green banner it's being processed, waiting on that little red dot to show up on the notification bell. We're gonna hit refresh just to see, that'll get it to us a little faster. There it is. So we'll click here and it says your full contacts export is complete. Tap to download. So when you tap to download, you'll see your file will automatically download. This may change if you have your download settings set up a little differently for your personal computer or if you're using a public computer like within your market center. They may have some download options or restrictions. So if you see that happen a little bit differently than the way you saw it um, unfold on my screen, just reach out to someone there within your local market center um, if you don't have the ability to change the settings on your own. 
So wherever you have set for your downloads to go, you will find that CSV file there. It is an Excel spreadsheet file and it is editable so that you can open and actually scrub that database if you'd like. This is very handy if you are leaving a team. Let's say you want to move your contacts that you own from your team profile to your personal profile. This is how you would do that. Um, you can reach out to us for help if you would like, but we always recommend before you ever start working on your contacts or changing from a team to a team, things like that, just it's always a good idea to export a copy of your contacts just to have on file so you never lose that valuable information. All right. Well, that concludes today's quick tip. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at scottleroymarketing.com. We will be happy to point you in the right direction or help you further with these exports. Thank you for watching.